What's up my beautiful people? Welcome back to a brand new spanking video. It's been a hot minute, that it has. Um, but, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of my time and attention has been focused to the Anna and Jack's Duo channel as well as um, mine and Jax's podcast called Blowing a 4.0. Um, so a lot of my time and energy has all been put into those two projects. So I've been kind of slacking on this channel, kind of. And then I got hit that unmotivation that hits me every once in a while. And I was like, you know what? That's it. I'm done. I'm not doing it. Um, but now I'm back and I thought I thought that today I would do a get ready with me video because I have to film a couple podcasts with Jax today because we are on a bit of a schedule. Jax is moving out to Cali in May and uh, she has a lot of things she needs to get done before she leaves Texas to go out to Cali. So um, we kind of just film our podcasts kind of in all one day um, or in a span of a couple days just to have the content ready for you guys. We are on Spotify, we're on Apple Podcasts as well as here on YouTube. Um, so yeah, just search up Blowing A4.0 and you will hear our podcast there. We have about 10 now, about 10 podcasts. So go check those out. Yeah. Anyways, um, so how about we hop into the get ready with me slash my everyday makeup routine. Let's do it. So, um, this is a great look. I, <laughs> I literally finished work about an hour ago. It is two o'clock right now and I'm going to go hop in the shower, going to wash my hair, take off this makeup that's been on my face since four in the morning. And, um, yeah. So I guess I'll see you guys when I get out of the shower with my hair washed. All right. So we showered. Good times. Took off my makeup. Um, breaking out like crazy one because of the masks and two because it's that time of month bless um but yeah now i'm just gonna take my hair out of this towel and brush it out using a wet hair comb so that i don't damage my hair no more than it's ever damaged um and then we're gonna get to makeup because I just let my hair air dry because I don't like putting heat on it if I don't have to. Yes, let's do it. I don't know what is wrong with me today. I am, I think I'm overly exhausted. Is that a thing to say? Is that even a sentence? Is that even... <laughs> the wires up here are not connecting at all. So you guys are probably going to hear a lot of gibberish in this video. That's great. It's awesome. I love it. But yeah, so we're just going to brush my hair out and then get into the makeup. I'm also using the viewfinder so I can see what I'm doing because I don't have a mirror anywhere around me. So, that's, that's, that's how we're living it today. That's how we're doing it. I'm clearly new to this whole YouTube thing again. So I'm gonna go in with this. Um, this is a Herbal Essence uh, Repair. It is a Argan Oil of Morocco. It is oil infused cream. I'm gonna put this in my hair. Uh, it says to put it in when your hair is damp. Plus it smells amazing. Um, uh, honestly, I don't even know how much, I have to put on, how much of this I'm supposed to put in. It doesn't even tell me. I'm gonna do it by that much. I really don't know. I feel like that was too much. You could smell my hair right now. Ooh, they be. Now that the hair's um, brushed out, it has its leave in treatments. It's time to get to the makeup and the face. So, I like to start off with these two things um, as my base. So, this is the Pacifica Glow Baby Booster Serum. this 
which I talk about literally all the damn time. It is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer. Um, I had the no oil one, the blue bottle, but I gave it to my sister because I'm a lovely sister. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my fingers and then blend it out into the skin. We're going to start off with foundation. I am going in with this. This is the Rare Beauty Foundation. Um, it's a little light for me right now. But we're going to stay at home order here in Toronto, which means I cannot go out shopping to Sephora as well. Before you guys come at me, um, it's sold out. Like, my shade is sold out online. So haven't been able to get it in a whole long time. So there's that. So before you guys come at me, like I said, this is a little too light for me, but we'll make it work. Foundation done. Looking a little sickly, a little ghostly right now. Uh, we're gonna go in my favorite concealer right now. I use two different shades because um, one's too dark, one's too light. So you gotta mix them together to get the perfect shade. I currently use the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, and I use C7 and C6. So I'm gonna go in with C7 first, and then go in with C6. Going in with some face powder. This is the Marcel face powder. Now going in with a Too Faced chocolate bronzer. Don't know what I was trying to say there. We are going to bronze our face. Um, I've also bro started bronzing my face, like contouring my face, completely different from what I'm used to. So uh, this was like a TikTok hack that I saw, or my sister sent me on TikTok, something like that, and literally been a life changer. Um, so this is how I now contour my face. Thank you, TikTok. <laughs> Like in the camera and the viewfinder, it looks like it's coming out a lot darker, but then it is in person. Maybe I'm just being blinded by the ring light. I don't know. Anyways, I'm just gonna. Now I'm gonna go in with the Mark. Jacobs line and last night blush. Now eyebrows. Uh, I know this is cheating. I used to fill in my eyebrows, but um, I felt like I was just overdrawing them, so I decided to go a little bit simpler. We're gonna go in with the Maybelline New York Brow Fast Scalp. Uh, it's a mascara gel for your brows. So we're gonna do that. Also, it's been over a year since I got my eyebrows done. Love COVID, 
um, so don't come at me for my bushy brows because you know uh, we gotta live with what we got and unfortunately I don't got access to um, someone who can do my brows for me <laughs> so I'm being dramatic I know it's fine I feel like I'm gonna be ready way before four today. I told Jax that we're gonna be filming at four for our podcast. I'm typically very late for our podcast filmings because I'm always getting ready. But I told her I was to I was gonna tell her three o'clock, and I was like, Nah, cause like I might want to relax a little bit after work, which I did. I relaxed about like 45 minutes after work, watched some Love Island, and. uh yeah, here we are filming this video now. For my highlight, um, I still like to go in with this gem. This is the Too Faced Natural Eyes Eyeshadow Palette, which you guys can see. Uh, and I really like to use Silk Teddy for my highlight. Uh, I just like to do it with my fingers because I feel like it's a lot easier to apply. So we're going in super, super neutral and like very natural with our eyes. Um, so I'm literally only going to use two colors plus technically three colors because one's going to go in my inner corner. But we're going to go in with this palette which is the Bare Necessities by Colourpop which uh, thanks to my lovely older brother and my sister-in-law I got it for Christmas. Thanks guys. Also. You guys don't know this, but I'm officially an auntie. That's right. My brother and sister-in-law had a baby girl not too long ago. And um, I am literally so in love with her. It is ridiculous. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Full Exposed for my whole lid. Um, I just want it to be very, like, neutral, very um, simple. I don't want, like shimmers or anything other than my inner corner so we're just gonna apply this to the whole lid next we're gonna go in with hot gossip for our transition crease outer corner all of those lovely uh, colors decided on sticking with um, the very n neutral natural looking um, eye look so I'm gonna go in with a eyeshadow for my liner and I think I'm gonna go in with taboo which is like this dark brown right here and um, let's see how that goes hot gossip which we use for our crease and our transition shade and our outer corner and just like the whole basically the whole um, lid shade that we use we're gonna put that on our lower lash line now going in with our angled brush we're gonna go in with silk teddy and we're gonna put that in our inner corners To finalize any look you ever do, um, to make sure that it's all complete looking, um, I like to, especially because like I'm doing this for a podcast and I'm going to be filming myself, typically I would just do mascara and then leave it at that, keep it a very natural look, uh, but 
because I'm getting ready to film a podcast in about a half hour, I'm going to throw some lashes on. This is the first time I'm using these lashes. These are the Ardell Naked Lashes in a 424. Um, and the reason why I got these was because the ones I usually use, which are the 03 Kiss Lashes, were completely sold out at Walmart. And if I don't use the O3s, I usually go for the Ardell Demi Wispies, but I feel like the Wispies are just a little bit too dramatic, and I kind of wanted to keep it very like natural and light and simple for this look, so um, I'm going to try these bad boys out. I also struggle putting on lashes. I don't know if anyone else does um, in the makeup community. Am I the only one that struggles with lashes? Because I feel like some of these people on YouTube make it look so easy, and I'm like, how? How did you do that? Teach me your ways, please. Lashes are on. Uh, didn't actually take that long to put on, surprisingly. And um, I actually really like the way they look. So now we're gonna go in with some mascara. That's not it, that is concealer. I'm just gonna use the waterproof mascara because I am gonna be filming for some time and I don't want my mascara running down my face. Uh, so I'm just gonna use waterproof. Lashes. I like to use this, which is Sky High Maybelline, or it's the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational in or Lash Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. Can for some reason can figure that out. There you guys have it. You guys got ready with me for my podcast. Now, um. I have six minutes to get ready, uh, set everything up, clean up my room after it literally looks like my makeup just threw up everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't really know what this video was. It was a get ready with me. It was my everyday makeup. Um, if it weren't COVID, this would be an everyday makeup look for me. And um, I guess it is kind of an everyday makeup because this is... When I do my makeup, I only ever do it for the podcast now because, um, like I said, we're in stay-at-home order in Toronto, so we can't go out anywhere. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I was a little chit-chatty today. Um, I want to say I apologize, but I don't really. If you guys want to get to know me a little bit better, okay, I'm going to do a self-plug here for you guys. Make sure you guys go over to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and here on YouTube and search up Blowing a 4.0. Um, Jackson and I literally talk about life experiences on there. We go, we're literally an open book in our podcast. And we are, I don't want to toot my own horn or toot our own horns, but we are absolutely hilarious. I sit there sometimes. Um, I was editing one of our last podcasts that we put up, the party one, um, and I was literally almost peeing from laughter how funny Jax and I are. So if you guys want to join two besties sitting down chit chatting about life experiences and just having a good time, check out the podcast. Um, I will link it down below so you guys can go follow it and check it out. Give it a little listen. Um, it would honestly mean the world to the both of us if you guys give it a listen. If you guys think that some of your friends would like it, share it along amongst your friends, your social circle. Um, but yeah, we also do free merch giveaways on our podcast. So if you guys want some free Blowing It 4.0 merch, go and give it a listen. So, with all that being said, with the video now done, it's time to get into the fun shenanigans of the video. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit that little red button down below to subscribe. Make sure you guys turn on that bell so you get notified each and every single time I make a new post. I'm hoping to do it more often now. Let's see if I'll get back in the swing of things. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up in the comments down below. Let me know one product that you guys literally would die for. I'll leave all of my social media links down below as well as the Blowing a 4.0 podcast down below. So give me a follow on all of those. Go listen to the podcast. Come and say hello to Jax and I. Also, I forgot to mention, Jax and I do a live podcast on stereo. Um, we've been slacking a little bit lately. Jax was in Cali for a little bit. She was looking for a place to live. Um, and to be honest with you guys, I've been in a bit of a funk. So. 
we're going to get back into our routine of going live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday stereo. So give us a follow there. Um, I'll leave my username and Jax's username down below. So if you guys want to go follow us and go listen to our podcast, uh, go right ahead. So that's it. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I promise I'm going to be back. I keep saying that. I know I'm kind of shit at it. But, 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 I don't know where I was going with that. I'm going to try to get better. I promise. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week or Friday. Hmm? Friday video? What? We haven't had a Friday video forever. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Um, until then, I guess I'll see you guys uh, in the next one. How do I do this? How do I end this? <laughs>